carpet, everybody. Wait, where's the carpet? Ancient Russian tradition, winter carpet massacre, massacre, ma mass massacre. Wow, that moment when you're out of vodka in the morning, or or that moment when there's no bear to f feed candy to, or that moment when you're. Uh, balalaika is out of the tune. All right, all right. Those are just some stupid jokes. Don't worry. The whole video is gonna be exactly like this. As you can tell, it's a normal day in Russia video, and I welcome you to it. English. I only pretend that I know it. So imagine this: you're at home after a long working day, and you're sipping on your beer, watching some shit TV show, and right before going to bed, you're like, "What is my life? What if I did it differently back then?" Maybe found myself a nice dream girl and have like have to have some love in my life. But let me tell you, Russia has plenty of those for you. Just taking a break from the wedding. I don't know, there's something about this. It's kind of inspiring. Maybe it's her chill, chill face. Something is so chill about it. And you better hurry up. Other foreigners are noticing her too. I love her. What's her number? I'm inexplicably attracted to this woman. No need to worry about Russian men though. They are kind of busy these days anyway. What could be more beautiful? I can see they used all of their best military vests for this too. Wonder what that wedding is like if she needs to take a break from it? Oh wait, a normal wedding in Russia. Bro is training to handle fights like a man with his new wife. Speaking about dickheads, some interesting balcony graffiti. Imagine how much your neighbors must not like you to do such thing. You probably like parked his Lada near the wrong Gopnik or something. Huh? Whoops! Now quick, what was the color of his Ushanka? Got you there. He didn't have any Ushanka. Yo, wanna see a cool trick? I can make you want to get arrested in less than a second. Hmm. Top cutie, cute and on duty. Navy blue booties. Go ahead and lock me up. Arrest me, but make it sexy. I can't explain why, but this comment was inspirational. <laughs> I'd love to learn the backstory behind this. They have a whole audience for this. So obvious though what's going on here. Like he just wanted to they had a bet who who's gonna be first to meet the delivery guy to pick up food. And this guy obviously he's gonna be faster because he's jumping out of the window. This is me trying to catch a joke to use it in my commentary, and this is you just watching me struggle. Whoa, 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 look at him run! I've heard some Russians are great athletes. This cute guy trains every day outside my house. Russia makes really weird looking bottles for protein shakes. What's, what is this about Russians hit in the air? I thought they love their mother Russia. Why hit its air then? Need to work on that squad. Heels to sky western spot. <gasps> I didn't even notice. Police! <laughs> Oh, dude, all these working out videos make me hungry. How about we go get some tasty shawarma? Ты посмотри, а где они есть? У них даже окно это открыто, блядь. 
Bidi Bidi. <laughs> so I heard these are like genetically modified rats from Biolabs and they like eat Russians or something. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Write a comment, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, I don't see any workers in the place, do you? And if you haven't heard or don't remember, there was a propaganda from Russians a while ago about Ukraine creating biolab pigeons. In Belgorod, Russians are poisoning pigeons because they believe in Russian propaganda about biolabs. I mean, poor pigeons. <laughs> Like, what the f*** is wrong with you, you know? I mean, something has to be wrong with you when this is your average day in Russia. Katya, ты погладила мой глагол? Ну конечно, типа, почему ты гладишь на телевизор? Я же тебе сказал гладить на 15. На 15 высохло уже. А Counter-Strike с полки ты не догадалась взять, нет? Ебаный в рот, где Вадим? Давай быстрее, мы опаздываем. That was the worst Russian fever dream I've ever seen. The only one normal person in this video is Vadim. I mean, I remember him when he was just a small biolab pigeon. Some people get inspired by things like this, though. When tired of being a president of America and decided to go to Russia. I guess those vacations on the fields didn't really help to relax that much, huh? Only onions for your children. Oh, so that's why it's called Soviet onion. A normal Russian ad somewhere in Yakutia. I'm not sure how to translate this one properly because it's like... Playing with words, like good hammering, somehow meaning f***ing hard, but with a drill in it. And I honestly hope that they didn't actually do it to her, otherwise she would need to see a Russian gynecologist. Oh, hell no, man. Guess it might be cheaper this way, because in a few weeks some Vita from the building in front of it will have all the knowledge he, he needs, and he can help you out and charge you less. A post office in Perm, city populated by 1 million people. Kinda looks like a toilet, no? Wait, so if post offices in Russia look like toilets, then what do toilets look like? Oh, don't sh**. I don't know, most prestige beach in Russia? I guess it is pretty difficult to figure out where you can and cannot sh**. When your post office looks like a toilet, your toilet doesn't look like a toilet, and your beach looks like an asshole? I think it's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch all of the all, all the rest of the videos that are on this channel. I'll see you next time, and good night, my little Putin.